Oh, hello. Um, this is going to be a VR hashtag to Don Michelle over at Boho Tarot. Uh, hashtag playing with pairs. And this is decks that you'll be working with in January. And I'm going to say January, possibly February. Um, and in, in decks that you're going to pair together, that you're going to use to work together with. And this seemed very interesting to me. I first saw it on um, Feeding My Soul 1212. And it, I've seen a lot of hashtags talking about mass market decks, indie decks, standout decks. And I have a small library, so... Uh, if I did those, it would basically be one video with three different hashtags on it. So I decided to go with this one instead. Uh, most of these decks that I'm going to show you, I would say um, all of the tarot decks except for one are new decks in my collection. Um and um, most of the Oracle decks, because uh, I'm going to pair tarot decks with Oracle decks, most of the Oracle decks um, I've had for a little bit but didn't have uh, the proper pairing to go with it. So we're going to rectify that situation tonight. So I'm going to start with... This Might Hurt tarot deck paired with the Sign of the Times. Um, I think these complement each other so beautifully. Um, both of them are no nonsense, direct, to the point, um, no must, no fuss. And, um, so, so yes, I think, I think they just pair beautifully together. And, um, you can let me know what you think. Um, they both have that modern spin that directness the tell you exactly what it is that you need to hear I think they blend nicely um, aesthetically as well as they do I'm going to say spiritually for lack of a better phrase or intuitively I guess so this is the sign of the times paired with this might hurt our next pairing is going to be Pocket of Peers and Energy and Spirit Oracle. And this seems like an odd pairing, just at face value. Um, I was trying to... Uh, Pocket of Peers is a deck that is new to me. I just got it. Uh, this is by Jamie Sawyer. And in this deck... She goes through, and there's different people, like the magician is her mother. Um, and I don't know who the high priestess is. I, this is going to be my deep dive deck uh, for 2023. I want to learn who the people are on these cards uh, and why she chose to put them there. I know they're all people from the... Uh, tarot community um, 
I'm, I'm wanting to learn who they are, kind of like putting face with names and uh, learning who they are and why she placed them on the cards that she did. And so uh, I thought this was a lovely pairing. Uh, her artwork is so vibrant um, that I, I was like, I needed something that would go with it, but wouldn't overshadow it. And I thought that this uh, energy in spirit complemented it nicely. I just love Jamie's work. Um, I have been a fan girl from the very first deck of hers that I've saw. And this particular oracle just speaks to me in ways. Um, I've used it with other decks. I don't know. It seems like it's one of those decks that could be used. Um, I've paired it with with different decks of mine and it seemed to fit well with all of them but I do think that it's that it works well with this deck as well so this is going to be uh, the two that I'm going to use together in January and possibly on into February of 2023. Um, that this particular pairing may extend further in that because like I said I'm I need to do a deep dive into this deck and learn who these people are I, I can't wait to to do that work but um, I do love her artwork I think they complement each other nicely. So this is energy and spirit uh, oracle. And this is by Sandra Ann Taylor. And the pocket of peers tarot by... Jamie Sawyer. The next uh, couple of pairings that I have are um, new decks in my library. Uh, I just received them. Uh, the tarot decks, I just received them uh, probably within this last week. And I was like, hmm, this is interesting. What am I going to pair with these? And um, I, um, I decided that I was going to put the Intuit Tarot, this is the keyword edition, with the Intuit Angel Oracle. Uh, they seemed to fit each other nicely. They do come from the same artist and creator, Kimberly Aura, um, and from into it publishing uh, as you will see I do like um, I seem to like Oracle decks that has titles and keywords on them and um, I like this deck um, with the keywords on it to help um, broaden my understanding of the meanings 
uh, of the cards. It also has um, the zodiac, the planetary symbols, and and such on the cards that I also want to educate myself and to learn about. But I think these cards pair nicely. I just think they're Their color schemes go nicely together. Of course, they are done by the same creator and illustrator. So, um, maybe that makes them more fluid together. I guess blend would be the proper word for them to blend. Um... But this is the Intuit Tarot paired with the Intuit Angel Oracle. For the last pairing, um, I don't want to say this was, this one, I've, I've tried a couple different, um, a couple different decks and nothing seemed to satisfy me, uh, well, a couple that I, 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 I can't talk tonight. Please forgive me. Uh, coupled uh, a few um, oracle decks with it, and nothing seemed to uh, complement it as well as this one. When I got to this one, I was like, okay, you have found um, its, I guess, mate or the perfect um the perfect pairing for it. This is the Fifth Spirit Tarot by Charlie Claire Burgess and illustrated by, oh my, who's it illustrated by? I do know it's got a different illustrator. Um, Okay, I'm, I'm not seeing it. Charlie Claire Burgess is the creator of Fifth Spirit Tarot. And the Oracle deck is the language of letting go by Melody Beatty. Um, I thought these went together real nicely. Um, again, these have their distinct uh artistic pairings and it seems it doesn't matter if you use it this way or if you use it this way i think either way you decide to use this oracle deck that it'll be complementary uh to the fifth spirit um i just seemed to like it a lot And um, maybe I need to, I don't know, is it, is it doing better from this side? Maybe it is. But um, yes, I think, I think these pair very nicely. I like the 
color palette of the fifth spirit. I like the inclusivity of that deck. I mean, as you saw, the first card was of an amputee. I know one of the pages in here is in a wheelchair. There's a lot of non-binary um, individuals in this deck. Um, it, it's just very fluid. And, um, and I think that that makes it pair well with this language of letting go. Um, and possibly even, um, you know, some of the messages themselves. So that is Fifth Spirit Tarot. with the language of letting go. I have um, an oracle. There, there's some work that I'm wanting to do this year. Um, I discovered that my card of the year, my card for the year of 2023 is temperance. And when I was delving into temperance, I found out that she was associated with Archangel Michael and the Greek goddess Iris, um, the rainbow goddess. And that made me wanted to learn more about them. I have found a deck that I want for Iris. It is the Mythic Oracle, um, but I can't get it here until um, the end of January, 1st of February. Um, that's the earliest shipping that I could get, uh, unless I was going to pay for expedited shipping, and that wasn't going to happen. The uh, deck that I have working with Michael is another oracle, so I was going to pair those two oracles together, and I think they have a complementary palette as well, and that would be the Sword of Light oracle. Uh, it's uh, Archangel Michael's Sword of Light oracle, and so I do have plans on pairing those two together to delve into my angel and goddess work while uh, examining and delving into temperance for this year. So these are my pairings that I'm going to work with in January. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, if you've subscribed to the channel, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Share them with your friends. Give me feedback. Let me know what I could have done differently or better. Um, all these things will help me to grow. And I'm grateful for everything that you do to help my small channel to grow. So, these are my pairings for the month of January in 2020. 23. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to get all of them in here or not. So, I'll see you soon uh, in another hashtag VR or possibly in one of my uh, daily collectives. So 
Bye.